Hey everybody, welcome back. This is episode 10 of the Survival uh, Pocket Edition series, sorry. Uh, as you can see, this is not a survival world, but this is my test world. So, over the years I've been playing Minecraft, I've just building, I've just been building all this. I've just wanted to show you guys some stuff that I did. And uh, yeah, but what I am doing here actually is showing you the entrance to the base, what I'm gonna be doing. It's not that giant monstrosity I did in the background there. Hell no, <laughs> um, but so yeah, I just wanna show you guys quickly. By the way, we have a lot to do and a lot I have to show you that I've done off camera. So I'm just gonna quickly go into third person, first person here and we get that mixed up. Okay, here we are. So this is gonna be the entrance. Now, I know what you guys are thinking like, what the heck, this looks weird and ugly, ew. Well, yeah, it kinda does, but, so, I might show you in a bit, but there is a mountain, as you know, in our survival Let's Play world, and what that mountain is, is I'm gonna build a bridge, there's a river around it, like a moat sort of thing i'm gonna build a bridge over coming into here this is like where the trucks can go to load the supplies for the base and you've got your average piston door here um i'm just gonna need to get slime balls for the sticky pistons for that that's not too hard um we probably might not build that today because that's a lot of work but we've also got yeah the truck park and then we're gonna put a villager in here so this is like the little safe room in case criminals do get in and then this is where the villager comes to flick the lever, pretend to open and shut that gate to the actual business factory. So this is what we are going to be building today, guys, if you wanted to know. Um, I did spend some time working on it. We probably might do some more if we get this done quick. Maybe we might even adventure to find, try and find some slime balls to get sticky business so we can make this incredible door which I'm loving um I'll just show you the redstone just because I know it's, there is some redstone fans out there that are probably gonna watch this and they're gonna wait how did you do that because of hell <laughs> so just change the data to change it today so the three pressure plates are here ignore that little thing over there the three pressure plates are here if so they're unpowered right now obviously because I'm not standing on it then it goes to here, then it goes to a torch. The torch powers all this, which goes all the way to all the pistons and all that, as you can see, to power the pistons to keep the door shut. Then, when I step on these pressure plates, it powers this to unpower the torch, to unpower all this to make the door open. Now, over there is the actual, as you can see, the other three pressure plates. So what I did with that is all I did was just do that and then hook it up to this just to do the same thing and open the door. Yeah, so that's virtually the door. It's really easy. You just got to hook all the redstone up and make sure all your pistons are extended and just put the pressure plates to it. If you don't want to do that, which you don't really have to, you can just do a uh, lever or a button if you want, but I prefer... So I am gonna show you all the stuff we did in our survival world and uh i'll see you in the actual world so i'll see you there i guess okay guys so i did so much stuff stuff off camera including this i expanded the mine i went i've done that 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 not that or oh, and that i've done all those up to the limit and i haven't done really any of these I've just done that one and that one, but we got so much. I'm not going to open the chest because I have a photo of it. I will be leaving so, like, photos on it. Like, I'm going to leave so many photos right here of all the diamonds I found and stuff. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you the names that I gave my pickaxes because I like to name them. And, uh, yeah, so... When we get this world for a very long time, I'm, this guy's going to be very old. So, my very old friend. Who knows? He could have been my friend before I had him. You never know. Um, but then we got the diamond bait because it's fortune. It baits the diamonds. So, then the diamonds come to us. 
Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mainly used this pick because of all this we got. Now, I'm probably going to leave one of these photos on the screen, but look at that. Look how much stone we got and diamonds and stuff like that. I'll just leave all the photos on the screen now. So there you go guys, I went mining for around an hour or two there and it was pretty mad. But another thing that I did, another thing I did guys was get these guys. So the baby from the villagers over there, uh, I bred them here, I got him over here. He is now a fisherman. I also got a cat, I'm gonna name him Toby because I have a cat in real life named Toby. Um, but yeah, he's really cute in real life, and I just wanted to give this guy some company, so I'll give Toby a little life here for now. And I got a really good book from fishing on breaking three silk touch one with just the average fishing rod too. And uh, I did get a few emeralds as you saw in that photo. And in the actual mine chest, uh, I might have to wake this guy. No, I'll just go to my house. But uh. Yeah, I did get some emeralds. That went. That wasn't from mining. Sorry. Uh, that was from trading. He trades string for emeralds, guys. And you know how much string we got. It's all gone now. But like, we had so much string, we traded it for some emeralds. So yay. And uh, yeah. So that's virtually all I did off camera. It doesn't seem like much, but oh no 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 no. Burn you zombies! Die! You're not gonna kill him! You burning hell! Ah! Why aren't you dying? Did he die? Are you safe? No! 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 Oh my god! Whoa! Yeah! What? What just happened? Alright, we're putting fence gates on right now. We're moving his bench out here, in here too. Oh my god. Whoa! Ah, oh, I felt like I just had a heart attack. Sorry about that scream, guys. I almost had a heart attack. I thought, I, I thought we were gonna lose him. No, I don't want to type. I honestly thought we were gonna lose him, guys. Oh my god. I'll move your workbench, mate. You're not staying out here. I don't want you to die, mate. You have a life. Okay. We'll just move his bench, I don't know, here. Mm. We'll put it... We'll just put it there for now. I do not want this guy to die. He's one of the best villagers. Okay, he's went back to his station. By the way, I also put this little mini loft because whenever I go and sleep in his... I should have just slept here. What am I doing? Uh, whenever I sleep... You good? Whenever I sleep there, he, like, for some reason it's bugged and, like, it. he thinks that I took his bed and, like, he doesn't have a bed now. So he doesn't sleep. So I just made this little mini loft up here where I sleep. Now no zombies should get in, and you and he's kind of bugged too, where he doesn't move. That's just a weird bug, but yeah. I'm gonna get started on the base now, guys, just because this is already getting into halfway through the video, somewhere around there. I'm gonna be doing a lot of cutting in this video, so I'll see you at the location, I guess. Well, yeah. Okay, guys. So I have got the basic layout, uh, the location of this. There's the fishing dock, the village, the villagers in here, the breeder, the house is right there. It's going to be right over here, just past this mountain, the entrance here. I am going to have to push this land a bit forward so we can get a clear bridge. But, this is the basic layout. I did make a few changes with that, if you just saw in the test world before. I think I did make a few changes. I'm just seeing, it looks decent from the front view there. 
now if I go in so the villager room will be here where they get to see outside and then the truck area here and then back there will be the, like the parking and then the piston door that we might get in probably next episode and stuff so what else i want to get planned done today is the actual park where the door is going to go and if we have time a bridge and as you can see by my levels from mining all that coal and redstone with my fortune touch I went up to 32 levels, so we might be able to enchant something today. We can probably make full diamond armor. I mean, I'm certain we can make full diamond armor. But I don't know if I want to do that yet. I don't know. But for now, I will see you guys once I've probably done the truck car park. Yeah. So, I'll see you then, I guess. Okay, guys. This is really weird. I went in to check on these villagers. There's these two. But there's a third one. What the? How did he get in here? Um, I'm not complaining. They must have breeded on their own. Because. Wait. Yeah. It didn't glitch out and give me that villager that died back. Yeah. One of these. Oh, I don't want him to climb up. Uh, yeah. That's bugged. Uh, J uh not Joe. This fisherman dude. Uh, leave your name suggestions down below for him. He needs a name, actually. And, uh, he's fine, by the way. I just checked on him. I have some upgrades on the updates on the base. But they are upgrades, I should say. So, as you can see, I have dug it out. Now, we've got a problem, guys. Like, a kind of big problem. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do some... Damn it. Oh, my, my very old friend sort of pick. Yeah, it's doing fine, by the way. He's dug out a lot. He dug all this out. Yeah, so we got this. This will be the kind of truck park area. I'm going to have it that big, I reckon, because I'm going to have to do some terraining. But, yeah. So, I'm going to have to do some of that. But now, all I need to do, really... Oh, I just thought... Wait, how big is this? Six long. Mm -hmm. If we put it seven... We're gonna have to make this seven long, guys, because I want the door to be in the middle of the... In the middle of the hallway. That's fine with me. That's okay. But uh, I just need to get those measurements right. So I'm gonna keep digging, and I will see you guys once the door's done. Then we're gonna have to come up with some kind of bridge design. I don't want it to be a flat one, but it could. Uh, yeah, it might just be a flat one. I don't know. It's just gonna have to be, like, a trial and error, I guess. But, uh, yeah, leave your name suggestions for the fisherman dude down below. I've just been doing this not for too long either. And, uh, by the way, later in the episode, I reckon I'm gonna enchant my shovel because my shovel is really slow. I really want efficiency four. Efficiency 3 even I could do. I just want instant mine on dirt. Something like that. Like that would be really handy. As you can see it's pretty easy to dig. It's just it takes a bit. I mean just got to do this and give you updates. But yeah that's how I usually just do my updates if you guys are wondering. Okay I'm, am I stalling? Yeah I'm stalling. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next sort of update sort of thing. So I'll see you then. Okay, guys, can you notice something different? Yes, the door and that monstrosity. Okay, that is what I call my terraforming. Uh, I'm not proud to call that my terraforming, but it'll have to do. It's kind of like a pyramid, but half cut out. I don't know. It's kind of... I'll fix it in the future when I have time, but for now, you can't really notice it. It's not really notice it plus you're not really going to be looking from out here so much so i don't see the problem yet. but yeah uh then we got this big space and we can make the stone brick and stone when we want because i've put the outer rims and i put dirt there and the roof is supposed to be here i was smart about that yeah so that's virtually this room done and yeah now we need to build the bridge this is the thing i'm a bit nervous about 
might just do a straight up and straight over terraining and then build the bridge but yeah and then we're gonna have to put some like curves underneath and stuff but i'm gonna check the timing of this video i don't think it's gonna be too long but if it is i might have to do this off camera so i'll just check that now okay guys i'm here with the with an, the next update and the final update on this build here we have it the build is virtually done or well, not done but like what i wanted to do today is virtually done i really love this bridge not gonna lie i really i could work on that arch a little more i don't really like those stairs i'm still fixing it and tweaking it as i go about my day but that looks really nice it look makes it look tough and secure and i really like it uh i got the glass in and the lever i'll eventually get in a village i'll eventually get in a village a villager in there sorry um next oh well, not next episode i'll eventually get a villager in there uh i'm no promises by next episode because uh, i got some things to do and uh we got these little things to it was going to be one, but then it looks really odd, and then I went two, and it looks so much better. By the way, I just lifted these, and it looks way better. I use smooth stone slabs here, and it just fits in. Got the iron thing here, crafting table in there for that guy. I'll probably put a bed and his workstation in there in a minute. We've got... Uh, I replaced the floor in here with stone because it was all dirt, and it was all a big mess. Coming here, this is like the safe panic room button should work on the other side yet then get in here and you got your lever to open and close that thing pretend obviously get the window to view and to say hello to the truckers and stuff and uh yeah then you go out and uh yeah that's virtually the build i can't really i don't really have time in this episode either to get this in but the one thing I do have time for, we gotta be really quick here, uh, I'm gonna cut to it, is the, uh, enchanting. So I'll see you there. Okay guys, so we're down here at the enchanting area. I got 33 levels so I can enchant two tools. I am actually going to enchant a diamond sword and my shovel, but I am obviously gonna go with the sword option because look at this. Wait, what? No! No, it says looting. What's the shovel then? Uh, we'll take that then. Of course, of course. And no, I don't want knockback. Oh, this is the worst enchanting ever. No. Oh, this is failed. All right, we're still at 30 levels. So what's our shovel now? I'm breaking through. We're just gonna have to take it, guys. Here we go. Yes! Oh, yes, that's what I needed. Now, what's the sword? Sharpness 3, that's not even that good. This is what we needed, everybody. Efficiency 4, Silk Touch, and Unbreaking 3. This this should instant mine dirt like that. So, that is what I'm talking about, everybody. But, I'm going to have to end it here, guys. So, if you do... Well, I'm going to... Well, first off, what we did today was start the mega base. It is looking insane, by the way. Like, I'm so hyped for this series and the base and everything, so I hope you guys are too. And then we just got that just then, the most best shovel I reckon ever. The side's efficiency 5, but this should pretty much instant mine everything, so we're set. And, uh, yeah, that's what we did today, so if you did like the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you want to see more, turn that notification bell to never miss a video, and everybody, I don't know why I'm not in third person to do my outro, but I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.